All right, secondary educators, uh, I am completely aware that sometimes we read a proof in a text and we, we think to ourselves, I'm not exactly sure what that's talking about. And I know that in our text, we talk about the reflective properties of the parabola. Uh, specifically, we talk about, so here's, here's some generic parabola. Uh, this is y equals ax squared. And it has some vertex up here at 0, 1 over 4a. And it has some directrix down here at negative 1 over 4a, right? And so, so what the heck is that all about? Well, why do I even talk about that? Because it is absolutely true that if a light beam comes out of the focus and hits the parabola right here at some point p with a specific x value and a specific associated y value, that that ray comes out shooting straight. That ray comes out shooting straight out. What is the reflective property in view? Well, the reflective property in view is if you draw the tangent line at point P, the tangent line to the parabola at point P, the angle of reflection and the angle of incidence are the same. That's the claim. The claim is that theta 1 equals theta 2. So to do that, uh, we're going to extend this ray. I mean, we know there is some ray. We'll extend that ray down to here, creating some angle theta 3. And we know that because this is a line and this is a line, we know that theta 1 is theta 3 because they are vertical angles. And vertical angles are congruent. Uh, we're going to suppose that this point down here is D for directrix, and this point up here is F for focus. And it is completely true that FP equals PD by properties of reflection. Nope, by properties of parabolas. In other words, this point is as far from F as it is from D, and so FP is equal to PD. That's properties of parabolas. But then we know that the slope of this tangent line, uh, call, let's see, how do we want to bring this in? Uh, FD is a segment. That segment intersects the tangent line here at point X. The slope of line PX is 2AX naught by calculus. So, so recapping, what have we done? We know that there's a ray coming in here. There's a segment that connects F to P. And we know that we can draw the perpendicular at P that intersects the directrix down here. And we know that those are vertical angles. And we know that FP is, is PD because parabolas work that way. Every point on the parabola is as far from the focus as it is from the directrix. And we know from calculus that this line has a slope of 2AX naught. Why? Uh, so why does that matter? Uh, this is the step that prevents us from talking about this with teenagers. Teenagers don't have calculus to back this up. We do, they don't. Well, we can also figure out the slope of FD. And the slope of FD is change in y over change in x, right? This has x coordinate x naught and y coordinate negative 1 over 4a. And so uh, y2 minus y1, that's negative 2 over 4a. x2 minus x1, that's x naught. So this is negative 1 over 2a x naught. 
and then we pause to consider that this number and this number multiply to negative 1. And because this number and this number multiply to negative 1, Px and Fd are perpendicular. And if Px and Fd are perpendicular, that's a right angle, that's a right angle, this segment is congruent to this segment, that is shared between triangle FPX and triangle DPX, and so by angle, by, by right triangle hypotenuse leg, right? By right triangle hypotenuse leg, those are congruent, that's shared, those are right angles. Triangle FPX is congruent to triangle DPX, which means, because of corresponding parts, that angle theta 2 is congruent to angle theta 3. But wait a minute, angle theta 3 was congruent to angle theta 1, so angle theta 2 is congruent to angle theta 1, proving the claim. Geometry matters. The reflective properties of, of parabolas are used in everyday things. Uh, this property is why uh, the reflector on the back of your headlight is a paraboloid, because light rays come out of that bulb straight. Uh, straight on, they light the way in front of your car using nothing but a very small little bulb inside. That is how powerful the reflective properties are. Hope this is helpful and that you've learned a little something and that you've processed the reading. And I'll see you when we gather.